So hi and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be stripping down the Death Adder Mini V2 here and I'll show you what's it like inside, how to take it apart in case you want to fix some it or do anything else with the mouse itself like change the skates or the cable. So let's get into it. Check the weight first. First thing I'm going to use is I use a hair dryer here to take the skates off. There's a few other ways to do it, but hair dryer has been the most effective way for me. And this is what I use. You see here the Death Adder skates the screws underneath it as well and like the mini viper where the screws are under the label so you're gonna have to take off the skates here if you want to replace it each time to do another death out of here to allow you to uh, change the cable or open it up basically what's interesting is the switches here do also swap from the mini into the viper as well as you want to change around we're going to weigh each little bit here as you've been seeing just so we get an idea of what it weighs you can do whatever you want with them three screws in the base two at the top one at the bottom and then it should there's a little pla plastic nylon tool here you should be able to just ping the little clips that hold it in place, but like the Viper Mini. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a link in the description. She opens up, it will. We'll be doing a weight reduction video on this. Going forward, but I haven't done one yet, but it's coming. And uh, TTC on the side here for the side switches. Then you got the standard grey, where it's opto mechanicals on it as well. So in the PCB, you've got a screw here and a screw here. It looks to be the only ones holding it in place. There only seems to be two. You've also got a TTC grey encoder as well for the scroll wheel here. So let's open up this bad boy. On the side buttons here as well, there's two screws. These two are also pinning it down. You need to take these out as well, just like the longer ones. So all together, there's seven screws in this. And it just comes apart. There's the base. Stuck to that little hexagon pattern like they did on the Viper. They've tried to reduce a bit of weight as well by thinning it out a little bit. Quite a clever idea. And then you get your little prism as well. There's a base, still got a PTFE skate on it, but you're not really going to need to remove it. PCB. Looks like the uh, cable just wiggles out on this one. A few people have been asking me whether you can swap the PCBs in the razor mice. We're going to find that out certainly going forward. I don't think I'm interested. It's got a black PCB. Rocking the thirty-three fifty-nine cents. I like the mini as well. Not one of my favorite ones and you can also just pull off the switches here if you wish push this little clip in here and out comes the laser micro switch do this on the other side can't put these in any other mice other than razors at the minute 
only Razor that will let you do that. Well, not Razor that will let you do it, but it's only Razor's PCBs that will fit them, so you can't do anything else. Give the old PCB a little measurement here, in case you want to swap it around. 44 by... It's a TTC 12 encoder, uh, 12 millimeters basically, grey one. So pop off it here. See, it's got like a channeled edge in the scroll. See that? Got a little measure in a sec. How much to this mouse? Quite a simple one. Twenty four, twenty five millimeters. You can look at the dip in like the little channel bits, twenty one point four. Then spindle part. I think that's the spindle. Can I change the scroll well? It breaks. The only remaining part now is the shell here, um, which can pop the back off. The DPI button looks like it might be riveted on, plastic riveted on. A lot of them are, seems to be enough and razor, the side buttons are riveted on, plastic riveted on. So you have to take it down, you have to basically break them to get it off. So I'm not going to do that today. We'll do a weight reduction one day. Let's get around to it. So we're pushing the side, but like side clips here, these little white ones, they should just ping off. I use a little nylon tool again. All my tools are in my description if you want to have a look. Put some pressure inside the uh, rear panel here. Makes it easier just to ping it off. He says. <laughs> Get off, Here we go. So, we have the button shell part. And then we have this part, which nothing else can come off now. It's all been either, oh, it's all plastic rooted on, that's it. You're gonna have to damage it to take out anything other than that, basically. That is the Death Adder Mini taken apart. So if that helps you, if you uh, have anything you uh, need to change or it's broken or anything like that, you know, sort the switches which you can do. Uh, we'll do a weight reduction video very shortly. If you've enjoyed this video, check out the Mini Viper. I've done a weight reduction on it as well as tearing it apart. Put a link in the description and I'll see you again very soon. Catch you later. Bye bye.